Peace, love, and light. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do a general reading for you. Beautiful, divine, feminine energy. This is going to be a little peeky peek into the energy for this upcoming week. Um, my readings are timeless, so whenever you find yourself clicking on this video, well, that was the divine timing intended for you to do so. Uh, for anyone that may be new, welcome to the channel. My name is Q. I am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I'm also an empath, and I am Clara Audience, so you will hear music playing in the background, and it tends to blend very beautifully with what the cards are uh, reading as well as what I may be channeling intuitively, and it all just blends very, very wonderfully together. Um, my spiel for this channel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. Meaning, if the messages do not resonate with you, just leave it there. Do not try to force a story to be your story. Check your other placements. Um, you may do so by pulling up your natal chart and it will give you a very detailed uh, message as to what is in your astrological chart. Uh, as I said, my readings are timeless as well. Um, so this will be a uh, general reading, as I said, for the Divine Feminine Energy. Uh, this is the Dark Matter series, so there will be no picture, uh, but you will be able to hear my voice. Hopefully you hear me loud and clear. Um, I will not be performing a sound bath today because it is a little too early to do that, so I don't want to be, you know, a nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> and be banging chimes and bells and drums early in the a.m. So we're going to just bypass that. Uh, but we do want to uh, go ahead and do some house cleaning. So I'm going to call upon beautiful elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ah, shape. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, guy, universe, source, the divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Baba Ogun, and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number, synchronicity, and by vibrations of my cards and so it is so mote it be ashe 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 beautiful souls right now we have jill scott this is called um so gone so this is a feature in paul wall okay so maybe somebody feels like you have a wall up a guard up uh, this is someone that has not been in the picture, someone that you may have ghosted, someone that could have ghosted you. Um, I do feel this person feels uh, your absence, feels very um, deeply your absence. You get a strong sense of someone missing you, like they miss you. Um, so let's tap in. And it says what my mind says. So perhaps someone, someone's mind is telling them to reach out. But their ego is, is, is you know, uh, running in interference. And so this, I really feel there's a sense of someone missing you, but their ego is kind of standing in the way. What their mind is telling them to do is perhaps to reach out. And what they are doing is rebelling against that. And I'm seeing it's 828 on the clock, um, the time. And so that's nine. So that represents like a completion that also is indicative of change. Nine is the highest number of change. So maybe they're about to change their mind and reach out. On the bottom of the numerology deck, I have Spirituality 77. This is an all-purple card. So 77 reduces to 14. 14 reduces to 5. 5 is the throat chakra. So that's about expression. Expressing one's feelings, thoughts, emotions. Perhaps someone wants to confess something. Maybe you already know this. Um, I do feel that there's a very sacred connection here, spiritual connection, soul tie with this person that I'm picking up on because this is um, 
the double numbers and whenever I see double numbers for those of you that may be new um, I always feel that that is a very strong indication that you are mirroring someone energetically so there is a sense that both of you are highly sensitive um, psychically intuitive uh, maybe this person sends you messages telepathically maybe there's a lot of memories dream activity here as I said, this 14 breaks down to 5. 5 deals with the Hierophant. So maybe someone has been privately working on themselves, maturing, growing. Maybe they have been working on them, their emotional um, elevator, learning to emote, learning to be more expressive, more communicative. Let's see what we got on, this, on the split. So I have Love Partnership 26, and then we have the 77 so this 8 and this 5 reduces to 13 there was definitely a painful ending this person absolutely loves you and I feel they want to express that but I, they're trying to muster up the strength trying to muster up the courage to do so because this is the number 26 love partnership someone walked away or someone was left behind I'm getting a strong sense of and maybe this is the reason why there is this um, this ego that I was picking up on, someone who was being stubborn or very egoic. And with so gone, maybe they feel like you're too, you know, too far gone that for them to repair this, to heal this connection. Because their mind is telling them to reach out, but their, you know, ego is stepping in the way. But with this 26 love partnership, there's definitely love. I feel this person absolutely has strong feelings. See that? I can't make this up. 33 communication. I just want to show you so you can see that I'm not talking because I have lips. So we got the 33 communication here along with that 77 spirituality. So this is someone that desires to speak to you and this 33 and 77 reduces to 10. So this person is trying to muster up the strength, trying to muster up the courage. Maybe you're dealing with someone named Dave. Maybe this person lives east of you. Maybe you live east. Maybe both of you live on the east coast. But this person is really, really thinking about communicating. I feel like a conversation will bring some sort of uh, understanding here. 3377 reduces to 1010. So both of you have been going through something karmically, maybe paying off karmic debts. I definitely feel this person sees this connection as a very strong spiritual connection. You bring them happiness, joy. This is someone from your past I'm also picking up. They also see you as an empress, see you as that divine feminine, the divine, you know, the divine masculine is looking at you as the divine feminine. They're looking at you also as the one that got away. I'm getting a sense of like past life love, twin flame. Cosmic Companion, Kindred Spirits. They're finally having some sort of epiphany. Yeah, this is definitely someone that has a lot of love. So let's take a look. Let's take a peek, see what's coming in. Go down and on. Divine Spirit of Love and Light, what's coming in? Look at this. 93 happy ending just jumped out of my hand as I was shuffling so I do feel like through communicating there will be some sort of happy ending someone will finally get something off their chest be able to express something and I feel like it's because someone is trusting their intuition remember what my mind says they're finally going to um, give in you know to the temptation whatever it is they've been f trying to fight against or being stubborn it's like they're going to finally just give in. There is a happy ending here. This is the overall energy. So I feel through communicating, someone's having some sort of grand epiphany. I feel like a conversation will bring some sort of um, truth or enlightenment, enlightenment or awareness to a situation, a circumstance, maybe even to how someone may feel about another person. I feel like they're definitely trusting their intuition because there's purple on inside of this um, sacred symbol here. And purple is very um, closely connected to the psyche, to the mental.
pardon me, I had the hiccups. But the purple deals with the crown chakra. So they could be having heavy dream activity, like I said, lucid dreams. Or maybe they're just receiving divine interventions, download transmissions. But there is some sort of happy ending. Something's going to bring some sort of smile on your face, joy and peace into the circumstance. We got 9-9 nine, nine compassion here. Compassion showed up in the former reading for Scorpios. Um, so this reading here is saying that Divine is telling you pretty much not to judge. When you see uh, compassion, that's really about not judging others, not judging even yourself, the circumstance. Just kind of going with the flow, not trying to control the narrative. And maybe you tend to um, be judgmental because maybe you felt like you were foolish in the past. We have Ashanti foolish playing right now. Maybe some of you are um, are African. I'm getting Ashanti. Ashanti is um, it's a part of African culture. So maybe some of you uh, reside in, I'm here in Nigeria. I'm here in Mali. Maybe some of you are even in Somalia. But I feel some something definitely uh, made you feel foolish, which is why I get a sense of judging. And Spirit is saying, be compassionate, be forgiving. Nine nine is this is on the bottom of the deck. So let's clap. This is perhaps what spirit wants you to do. Show this other person compassion. Maybe they desire you um, to be compassionate towards them. They realize they were foolish in the past. They realize they treated you like a fool. And now they feel foolish. Nine is the highest number of change. So maybe this person has changed their perspective about the situation. And feels foolish, regret, remorse mental conflict because of the maybe the way that they've behaved in the past maybe they see you as some sort of goddess an african queen or a queen so we have patience here so this person is is patiently awaiting the perfect time to take action they could be in two minds so they're just trying to decide wisely because two patients that deals with Number twos deal with uh, the high priestess, so I feel they're truly trusting their intuition. And they're being patient in the process so as not to rush things, so as not to mix things up or mess things up. But I feel like they're being patient because they're making a decision. Making a conscious decision, I heard. See that? because they want to communicate so we have 33 again on the bottom of the deck here and we're about to clarify um, how they feel about you so how they feel about you is they want to communicate they also feel like you're bright sunny you know very uh, positive energy good vibes they feel you're strong feel you're very wise informed it definitely get a strong sense of um you know maybe regret because this is 33 so this is the almost like someone returning from your past because remember we got 93 happy ending and then we have number two that reduces to five so i was picking up heavy regret maybe someone was stubborn in the past someone was not being um they weren't using their discernment or their intuition. They was using more of their ego to make decisions. But I feel now they feel almost like abandoned, left behind. They also feel this regret because how they feel about you is they want to return. This is someone that has a lot of admiration, adoration, definitely attraction. They feel pulled to you, called to you. And I feel like they feel regret for treating you um, unfairly, perhaps. For mishandling you mishandling your heart so let's see how this person feels but they definitely desire to communicate express themselves even apologize that's probably why spirit had that compassion because they really want to um have a warm reception and what did i say this person how they feel about you is 27 it says hold on let me fix this 
It says spiritual partnership. This is what just fell out when I asked how this person feels about you. So they do feel the strong pull, tug, synergy, chemistry, connectivity to you, even familiarity. They definitely feel like there's some sort of really strong connection that the two of you share. They feel that you're their cosmic companion. And we have uh, the Jazz Lincoln Orchestra singing Jelly Jelly. This is from the Love Jones soundtrack. So this person definitely may like, um, maybe you have a, a big old round plump behind, big old juicy behind. Shakes like jelly is what I'm hearing. But also I'm getting a sense that they want to gel. They want to gel um, together. They feel the two of you just gel well or um, that there's just this, this um, chemistry, this unmatched chemistry. And we have 71 health on the bottom of the deck. So they're up in their head a lot about this. But they feel you gel together very, very well. They feel this very strong chemistry, connectivity, synergy. Like I said, there is um, almost like there's some sort of soul tie or connection that they feel. But they feel like, you know, maybe you may be a little guarded because you've given them many chances. This 27 has given me like you've given them chance after chance opportunity after opportunity but they have not um, reciprocated and so now you may be focusing on yourself maybe you all have everything kind of locked down you know you've created like a, a, a protective bubble a sacred space you are in your safe haven or in your own sanctuary just loving yourself focused on you Yourself, your children, your career, your life, your happiness, not ex overextending yourself anymore. This is causing someone anxiety, stress, because they're ruminating and pining over how to break those walls down, how to break that barrier down or your barrier. We have the 71 health that gives me like the eight of swords energy. And the health is like, you know, them up in their head, overthinking, overanalyzing so many things they want to say but they're not expressing them but I do feel like there's a lot of self-imposed mental anguish on behalf of whoever this is because a conversation can clear the air it could bring clarity it could bring a understanding and overstanding of a situation even if there's an apology it will show that someone has remorse for their actions, so I do feel like someone could be kind of overstressing things, overthinking things up in their head too much. What is hidden in the energy for my beautiful divine feminine? I have a message of love and light spirit. What is hidden in the energy? I have a message of love, a message of light here. See that? They want to communicate, but they just don't know how to. It's taking a while for these cards to come out. Maybe they shake like jelly like this. I'm getting a sense of like fear, you know, because jelly, if you like shake it, it kind of moves around, wobbles around. So maybe this person is like shaking in their boots. <laughs> I'm getting the sense of intimidation, fear, because they see you as the divine feminine. And also if someone knows they did wrong, it is kind of hard, especially for someone who can be very proud or um, stubborn to apologize so that could be one of the things so we finally got a card that flew out and we have 77 spirituality this is what's hidden in the energy so communication so they may send you a lot of messages telepathically or intuitively just the mere th fact that they think of you constantly you could be picking up on their energy but they do feel strongly like um, that this is a very sacred union because we have spiritual partnership for how they feel about you so they do feel like you are the one for them they feel like your connection is deeper than just a physical attraction or deeper than just um, you know um, 
is is deep. It's deeper. So it's more spiritual. They feel that you are a spiritual partner, that you are someone that they were meant for, like you're destined to be in their life. And with spirituality coming out as what's hidden, I feel like they are about to enter into your life and express these things. But seven and seven is showing me that there is, um, both of you are very intuitive, very psychic or very discerning. And we have on the bottom of the deck, eight manifestation. So either you are master manifestors or both of you could be manifesting one another. But with eight manifestation, I do feel like there's been a whole lot of healing, a lot of sending up petitions, prayers, speaking daily affirmations, mantras, and whatever it is you've been doing, you've been manifesting this. Whether beknownst to you or unbeknownst to you, you've manifested this spiritual partnership or this spiritual connection that you have with someone. And what did I say about someone liking you behind? And we got a Tribe Called Quest playing Bonita Apple Bum. So this person definitely, and I'm going to show you because you know me, I like to show them proof. That's just what I do. So Bonita Apple Bum. So definitely this person may be kind of like obsessed with your your behinds they may feel like you got a fatty maybe some of you all your names are Vanita this person has been on some sort of quest some sort of journey spiritual journey I feel both of you have been because with this 7-7 seven, seven is showing me that you all have been growing spiritually mentally emotionally um, and just you know kind of um, turning that pain into power transforming you know, um, going through some sort of startling metamorphosis. Whenever I see double numbers, as I said, I always feel like that's you and the person you're divinely meant to be with. Uh, you know, mirroring one another energetically. And so that seven deals with the crown chakra. So that would just tell me that there's like spiritual al alignment, spiritual strength, growth. El elevating to your higher self. Learning how to manifest, learning how to co-create with Source, especially with this eight manifestation here. This is literally about turning your vulnerabilities into a superpower and owning your power, utilizing your power for good, manifesting that of what you desire into your life, whether that be circumstances or people, opportunities. But there is a blessing. Eights, if you turn it sideways, it represents an infinity symbol. So this is definitely dealing with karma. So the seeds that you've sown in the past, the hard work, the effort, the, the drive, the resilience, the diligence. It has manifested some sort of opportunity. And this is bringing emotional fulfillment. I feel it's also saying you've been manifesting love. Because this is an all pink card. So you've been manifesting love or something that is um, definitely pulls on your heartstrings. So it's, it could be a passion of yours. But I feel that there's absolutely something that's going to bring joy in your life. And we do see that with the happy ending here, uh, which opened up the reading for the overall energy. So what is the outcome? Wow, the outcome is 44. Another double number. This is absolute love. Four is deal with the heart chakra. Four is also the divine masculine. That's the emperor in traditional tarot for the major arcanas. So this all green card is showing healing. It's showing growth. This represents an energy of someone that loves you and finds you to be their rock. Someone that they can plant seeds and roots in a nucleus with. Someone willing to build with you, grow with you, create a happy home. This is happy house, happy spouse vibes, happily ever after. And I feel the both of you really focused on healing yourselves, loving yourselves, maybe even on your independence. Because we have 11 here, individuality on the bottom of the deck. So that's again a double number, one and one. So I feel both of you had to learn to be independent of another person, of, you know, just learning to stand perpendicular in your square on your own, speaking your truth, standing up for yourselves, 
because your independence is the foundation for your stability, your security, your happiness, your peace. So maybe you all were in codependent relationships in the past. That was part of the karmic lessons you had to learn was to learn to love yourselves, to prioritize yourselves. And now this independence or the sense of individuality gives you a sense of strength. There was absolutely changes, a lot of changes, definitely a lot of changes between you and your person. I see 55 adventure and then I also see 14 moderation. And now I see 88 abundance. So we got 11 individuality, 14 moderation, 55 adventure, 88 abundance on the bottom of the deck. And then we have personal growth, 7. I can't make this ish up. So this is what's been happening. Independence. You had to change. Perhaps you all were in codependent relationships. And you all had to learn to be independent. You had to learn to stand on your own two feet. You could have been in codependent connections. Could have been in very toxic connections. And we have uh, SOS, just be good to me. So someone you was dealing with wasn't good to you. They weren't good for you. You had to learn to be good for yourself. And like I said, you had to learn to prioritize your needs, your wants, your desires. But more importantly, you had to learn to love yourselves. That was the moderation, the change that was needed, that was necessary. Moderation is a green card and it has orange on the inside. So you had to learn to make these necessary changes to speak up for yourself, to stand up for yourself. With this 55, some of you all could have been set in your ways or maybe this was someone else that you're attracting who could have been very set in their ways. I was picking up on someone very stubborn, someone very egotistical, proud. And so now they are gonna be more spontaneous, step outside of their comfort zone. With this 88, this is again a double number just as the 55 and the 11. So this is definitely like mirroring so I feel there's a lot of praying, petitions going up, being hopeful. As I said, just he focusing on the healing. And that naturally brings a sense of balance. It restores you. It rejuvenates you. This is about purification. But more importantly, this 8 and 8 reduces the 16, that 7. So that, again, speaks to the personal growth. You got to heal that self in order to love that self, in order to know that self. And so this is really about turning pain into power. And also, you know, being strong, standing up for, for what you believe in, not backing down. And I feel there's a reward here for doing so. You're being rewarded. You're being blessed. You're being give, granted some sort of wish here. Wish here, pardon me. So this is powerful. So this 1111 individuality, someone could be breaking free from a connection, from a relationship in order to come towards you. But this person is someone in your environment. This is the outcome card, 44. So that environment, as I said, is an all green card. And that really deals with the heart chakra. But that also deals with, you know, someone that you could have worked with, someone that you could have met, someone that you could have bumped into um, just in your everyday, you know, Life, just going to the store, the grocery store, maybe going to a job, as I said. Maybe you met someone at your job. Maybe you met someone at your gym that you frequent. Maybe at the grocery store. Maybe at a, you know, whatever. So this was someone that you could have bumped into in an outside setting or in within your environment. With that eight, I do feel like there's a strong sense of someone who could be also, um, maybe this is someone... That could see you as a wish fulfillment. And I was pulling out the energy oracle deck. Um, and the number six contract card was stuck in the box. So this could be someone that could be tied to a marriage. You know, maybe they are in some sort of domestic relation, domestic partnership or connection with someone already. But with that eight, maybe that's why they are um, kind of like up in their head, into minds, trying to figure out or decide how to part ways. I feel with that contract, that could be someone who's still 
um, wrapping up a karmic cycle and that could be why they're anxious so I have on the bottom of the deck man holding a heart and then we have on the split fourth chakra Archangel Raphael and man holding a heart is the number 45 9 and then the um, Archangel Raphael card is the number 38 so the 11 um, deals with you know that number is one half of the uh, twin flame number 11 11 um, 11 is also the number that we just had uh, on the bottom of the deck individuality so they could be tied to someone that they need to um, they need to be you know break free from and they need to heal I see you know Archangel Raphael deals with the heart chakra so he's really a powerful angel to help you heal from heartache loss pain um, this is someone that definitely uh, loves you because man holding a heart here is showing me that this person has a lot of love and they want to be good to you. I feel like um, with SOS, you know, um, that represents like someone who wants to send you a message. So maybe this is like some sort of secret admirer. This is someone that, you know, secretly prays and wishes for, um, you know, some opportunity to open up. For them to express these feelings or to show how they truly feel and they want to be good to you they just want to be good maybe they want you to be good to them when they return so let's tap in let's see why is i'm going to clarify these messages let's see what we got spirit what's coming in from my divine feminine i may have a message of love message of light i just want to get a good shuffle and i just saw the angel the second chakra the angel um archangel ariel so this is really you know the second chakra deals with you know uh self-love self-care and so this is perhaps you know how they feel about you as i said just really focusing on loving you you know and that that nine i'm getting like the nine of cups even that nine of pentacles type of energy, you know, independent, single, self-sufficient, you know, no longer reliant on another person. Maybe they've seen you rebuild, you know, from the ground up. And now you have this sense of independence, the stability, you know, you seem to be financially independent as well. So we have Archangel. Oh, I love it. Archangel Mikael flew out. So you definitely have... Um, Powerful, happy endings because you have uh, protection here. Archangel Mikael deals with the root chakra. So this is helping you to, you know, heal and make amends with some of the traumas from your past, childhood traumas, familial traumas, you know, even relationship traumas. Um, it's like that's why you have this happy ending because you healed at a soul level. You know, this number three and this number eight. That reduces to 11 again. So I do feel like, you know, this is about you learning to be, you know, that independent person. Remember the 11 individuality card from the numerology deck. And so non number 93 reduces to 12. That's 3. And then this 35 is 8. And so that's showing me that there was, you know, a lot of um, work to find that sense of independence. And Archangel Mikael helped you. So you did do a lot of healing you had to work on your security also you know you can't be in relationships where there's it's lacking reciprocity and so i do feel like you really focused more on healing at a soul level and that's why you have this happy ending because it's like you've you know you've turned your pain into power you've completed those karmic lessons and you did so with the assistance of this very powerful archangel and this is beautiful. And then we have Sly in the Family Stone, if you want me to stay. And we're about to clarify the person you're attracting to you. And we have Carnucopia Patience. This is clarifying patience. So this is like a harvest. This is a harvest. How they? This is the person you're you're attracting. And they, there's like abundance. There's prosperity here. And we have two and two. This is 11, Carnucopia. And this is about a harvest. This is like, you know, receiving blessings from the divine, new beginnings, 
financially opportunities this is a harvest as i said infinite supply better days ahead no need to worry everything is just all right financially this is also like someone being patiently and you know their patience paying off i'm getting a sense two and two reduces to four so that's definitely divine masculine energy and this is also you know someone wanting to come in and and offer you this you know this this stability the security someone willing to take care of you provide for you and it says sly in the family stone so maybe this person was a little slick and sly in the past and they're learning now learning to be emotionally intelligent opposed to just egoic stubborn proud because the two like i said in this 11 that's also two that's four fours deal with the heart chakra so they're learning emotional intelligence here and look what flew out to clarify how they feel about you 27 spiritual partnership man holding a heart can't make this up so this person definitely we got nine and nine they're matching your vibe your fly your vibration your frequency your energy this is someone that feels they have good chemistry with you. There's a lot of attraction here. They see you as independent, single, working hard on yourself, loving yourself, treating yourself well. And it says, if you want me to stay. And now we got Michelle and Deo Cello, Love Song. So this person definitely loves you. There's no doubt about it, especially with this man holding a heart in their hand so it's like your heart is in their hands it's like they're they're definitely um, holding on to this connection even though you may be coming off a little guarded with that 27 9 I'm getting like the nine of wands I'm also getting like the nine of Pentacles and the nine of cups where you're being selfish now you're selfish you're your priority so you're focusing on you because in the past you may have overextended yourself and it was not reciprocated. I feel this is a secret admirer. I definitely feel this is someone that watches you from a distance. Both of you are in hermit mode because you're both in the nine vibration. If you look at these cards, they both reduce to nine. So definitely get a sense of you both being like in that hermit mode energy. You know, being in the energy where you are. Um... You know, really just focusing on yourselves. You know, really doing a lot of internal work. Really assessing things from the past. On the bottom of the deck, we have 23 all tied up. So this person is mentally conflicted, but they also feel stuck, stagnant. But the 23, this could be because there's a lot of competitive energy, challenging energy, combative energy, hostile energy they're dealing with. But I also feel this is because maybe they're also um, uncertain as to how to communicate, express themselves, say what they feel. Because I do feel like this person loves you. We got Michelle and Deo Cello playing love song. Maybe some of you all, your names are Michelle, first, middle, or last. This person is up in their head with how to express these feelings, this love. And the 77 spirituality that we are about to clarify is also reduces to uh, 5. 7 to 7 reduces to 5. So I feel both of you want and desire to have a conversation. But I feel this person that is needing to make this, ex to extend this olive branch or to take action is up in their head with how to do so. Somebody's definitely struggling financially. Maybe they're trying to get their funds together. So we have the 33 daughter romance just flew out to clarify that. We also have this 38, which is fourth chakra Archangel Raphael. We just saw that in the split. And then we have 14 caring connection. And then we have the number 18. I can't make this up. 
So someone is definitely anxious. This is the anxious energy that I was picking up on. You know, maybe stubborn, fear. I was also saying someone was a little intimidated, didn't know how to approach. This person obviously cares about you, obviously has these deep emotions, has these this deep love. See this? I'm going to show you all the cards that just flew out to clarify this one card spirituality. So this is what we're dealing with. So this is someone's heart who's really open, someone from your past that you may know. When I think of 33, the 6, I'm, I'm getting a sense of, you know, the lovers. This could be someone from a past life or someone that you may feel is like a kindred spirit. Or this could just be someone that you are familiar with, someone that you are, that you know. Maybe this person is dealing with some sort of situation where they may have to walk away. Because at 33 and then the 38 is giving me like the 8 of cups. Because 6 and 2, you know, reduces to 8. So they may have to walk away from a connection in order to come towards you, you know. Because they do have this this love, this care for you. But they're anxious because maybe this is not their forte. They're not the most communicative person. This person cries for you apparently. We got Jod Jodeci here. So they are up at night crying, very anxious. Definitely suffering from insomnia. Maybe even financial constraints. Maybe their funds are tied into some sort of domestic situation they could be in right now. So this person definitely wants to get on their knees and propose. They can see that happy house and they can see you as that wish fulfillment. They do care deeply about you. They love you, we see here. But they're anxious because maybe someone that they're with, they do care about that person. They care about, you know, their feelings. And so they're trying to do things the right way. See that? I can't make this up. Strategy. They're trying to strategize, plan, prepare. This is the number 21. 21 in traditional tarot is uh, associated with the world card. So there could be distance, physical, emotional distance. But this is also someone who is wrapping up a cycle, completing a cycle. With this strategy, I do feel like they're strategizing, planning, preparing how to come in, the right way to come in. I feel like they're seeking guidance, you know, perhaps from their angels. So we have three cards that flew out to clarify the 44 environment. And we have the second chakra, Archangel Ariel. So they are definitely trying to, you know do things accordingly like you know this is about self-love self-care so they definitely are prioritizing their needs and we have blossoming abundance and we have community so everything i just said so they are seeking you know some sort of assistance from the angels their spirit team you know this is like having the support but they definitely are um, mustering up the strength and this is the 36 is 9 so there is you know some major changes that are happening because I feel this person is absolutely going to do what's best for them with that 36 there because that speaks to you know the, the second chakra really deals with the self it's about moving to the beat of your drum being fearless and doing what's best for you self-discipline self-love self-care integrity and because they do so or because they take action I feel like there's abundance here abundance of um, anything abundance can be associated with love passion finances but this blossoming abundance is doing part to the seeds that have been sown so I do feel like as I said there could be some sense of history familiarity between you and this person because I feel like once this person does come in and follows it's almost like they're following their heart there will be this um oh this is powerful because even the 44 the three you know that that all reduces to um 11. so this is that that kindred spirit that soulmate and with the seven here 11 and seven 
is nine. So there will be a change. They will make a change. They will make this change and they will come toward you. Spirit is guiding them to you because the seven is associated with the, um, the chariot as well. So their angels, their ancestors, their spirit team, even Archangel Mikael could be here. We also saw Archangel Raphael. So these angels are assisting you all. I feel like this is a sacred connection. I was picking up on it being um, destined as well. This is someone that you are destined to be with, someone that feels you're destined to be with them. And they're strategizing, planning, and preparing how to come towards you, how to take action, how to um, greet you even. So let's clarify these messages. See that? On the bottom of the deck I'll be using, the, the tarot cards is the king of swords. So there will be a message. This person is ready to communicate. We got the nine of coins. So the knight of coins is the only knight that takes their time because they want to get things right. All the other knights rush in. So the knight of swords, cups, and um, the knight of wands, they all rush, you know, very kind of sporadically. They don't really plan. They just take action. They just rush in. So sometimes that could be, um, that's not necessarily the best approach. Because you're not thinking things through. You're not really, you know, planning things out. It's just like a very rushed decision. And it could come off very, you know, contrived or very forced, flighty, unreliable. So we have the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Swords. I can't make this up. Someone's up in their head heavily. There's a lot of emotion and love. They see you as someone very very giving loving very domestic very maternal very caring this is a queen who's you know the one who protects everyone provides for everyone you know is very present this person's up in their head like i said just kind of ruminating and pining and overthinking and anxious and just very much so they may send you a message because there was a blue bird. If you look, she has like this blue bird on her on her chalice. So there will be a message of someone expressing to you how much they love you. And we did see that with that 77 spirituality and the 33 daughter romance. I feel like this person, this caring connection, this person that has these feelings will express how much they care. And we have um, Xavier Omar. And this is called change on me. So this person doesn't want you to change on them, switch up on them. They just, they do want you to know they're going through a lot. I feel like there's some, some, some difficulties that they are being challenged by. But I feel it's, it's helping them to change direction. We got the page of coins. So this person is thinking about how to make an offer, a solid offer. Um, I'm hearing commitment in my mind's eye. I see three of coins and then I see the four of coins. So they do hold on to you. This is that masculine that's holding that heart. You know, I feel like they feel you are the one. So they could be going through some sort of some sort of um, ending because I just saw the tower and this is a painful ending. Maybe they discovered something about someone they were in a relationship with. Maybe there was a third party or some sort of entanglement. I definitely see the three of coins as also being some sort of indication that there's three um, people involved in some sort of love triangle. I also get a sense of there being a desire to work things out, building this alliance. Someone was dealing with someone that was a, a master manipulator as well, very conniving. very controlling but I feel like this person definitely that you're attracting um, you could have met this person at your place of employment or somewhere in your your um, environment like I said like neighborhood and they are definitely looking at you as someone who is you got your ish together 
and the nine of staffs. I mentioned the nine of staffs, and there it is. Yep, I mentioned the star. You are the star in this person's eyes. You are wish fulfillment. There's no denying that. They have watched you heal and grow, mature. They desire this reunion. They desire to reconnect. And I feel like there's, you know, a lot of regret about perhaps not being forthcoming or being honest initially. Maybe they hid some sort of truth. Maybe they didn't take some sort of action. And that's probably why they got left behind. And that's why they feel so much anxiety in communicating because they know they were wrong. Spirit is saying it's human nature. So we got Michael Jackson human nature playing. So, on the bottom of the deck, we got the three of cup, um, three of coins. So this is uh, clarifying ninety three happy ending. Archangel Mikael is here, and then we got the three of coins again. And so this all reduces to fourteen. This a uh, nine three, which is twelve. The thirty five, which is eight, and then the three. So this is definitely someone who's desiring to communicate. Because all of that reduces to 14. 14 reduces to 5. They want to build an alliance. They want to build, rebuild this connection, work together, partner with you. With human nature, I feel like spirit is telling you that, you know, we all make mistakes. It's human nature, so don't judge. That's why compassion showed up earlier we have the magician here this person could be trying to manifest you it could really be trying to manifest you back we're about to clarify the number two patience and the number 11 carnocopia so that is four so the divine masculine is working very hard to manifest you back into their life this one on the magician also is making the two and the two and the one five. This is what they truly desire. That's why they're up in their head. Anxious. Trying to figure out how to do this. So let's see. Why is this number two patience in Karnakopi here? For the person our divine feminines is attracting to them. They have a message of love and a message of life spirit. Lines two and number eleven. Karnakopia here. So how this person Yep, Wheel of Fortune. I told y'all. They feel this is destined. And I also feel this is this connection is coming full circle. I feel again with that ten completing cycles, learning karmic lessons. And now there's going to be movement. Whatever was delayed can now come toward you, can can now come in. Whatever was blocked, whatever was stagnant, there's movement, powerful movements forward. This is about fortune and fame. The the carnicopia and the will of fortune is a very abundant, prosperous, fortunate energy. So they could be manifesting some sort of financial blessing. They could have some sort of new beginning financially. I see the fool here. So they're going to take a leap of faith towards you. We got the 27, how they feel about your spiritual partnership and the man holding a heart. So let's clarify that. And I just saw the fool. So they feel foolish, but I feel like they want to rectify things, correct things. See that? Didn't I say they felt you were the nine of staffs? Very guarded. How they feel about you is you're very guarded, blocked. You've created boundaries, barriers to your heart. And they want to tear those, they want to tear your walls down is what I just heard in my mind's eye. They don't want to be judged. It's human nature for people to make mistakes. We got the fool on the bottom of the deck. So they do want to take this leap of faith. They want to take action. They want to try again. I feel they were disloyal in the past and this time around. They want to be more loyal. They want to show you loyalty. Why is the 77 spirituality, 33 daughter romance, 38 Archangel Raphael, 14, caring connections, and 18, anxiety. The number 8 
or the 17, which reduces to 8, the star. This is what I said. They feel that you are the star. They have been praying for you. They have been calling you in, wishing for you, hoping for you. They also feel that you all have been really healing themselves. You're very balanced. You're very grounded. You're in alignment spiritually, mentally, emotionally. You've turned your vulnerabilities into a superpower. They see you as master manifestors, setting intention, co-creating with source. They see you as very powerful. That's why this is spirituality. They feel this connection is a very sacred one. They may see you as the alchemist and see themselves as the magis. Because remember the magician showed up when I was about to clarify uh, the person you were attracting, patience and carnocopia. And then the will of fortune showed up, but the magician was on the bottom of the deck. So they do feel the both of you match one another's fly. They definitely feel you are a wish come true, a blessing. And absolutely, this is someone who's really looking to come in. They are absolutely, I'm looking at the cards on the bottom of the deck. So what I see here is the Page of Swords. So they're absolutely keeping watch. They're keeping tabs on you, watching you. And we have Barbara Lewis singing Hello Stranger. So this is someone watching you from a distance. And they may just message you just like that. Hey, stranger. Hello. You may be dealing with someone named Barbara or Lewis, first, middle, and last name. But this is someone that's definitely keeping tabs. And with the Ten of Coins and the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck, along with the uh, Two of Coins. So this person could literally be seeing you like juggling a lot at this time. You know, handling your B.I. They're watching you like literally like handle all your business on your own. And maybe they want to come in. And they want to assist. They want to be your rock. They want to be your foundation. They want to collaborate. They feel the two of you have good chemistry, good energy, good, just just a good um, connection overall. They can see family. They can see building a legacy, building that happily ever after. So let's see. Let's tap in. We're going to clarify. 44 environment, 36, second chakra, thir uh, number three, blossoming abundance, and the number seven community. And the seven of coins just flew out. So what did I say about you already having history? So this is someone that you could have, um, you know, there is, you know, there was investments made. You invested time, energy, um, but you walked away feeling unfulfilled. And I feel spirit is saying that's because it was divine time. It was a matter of divine time. That's why things didn't happen when they went <clears throat> when you expected. Let me get some water. My throat just got blocked, so I definitely feel this person is working on how to communicate. And if you look, that 14 again reduces to five and my throat just got blocked when I was saying that so I feel this person is working through their fear of communicating their fear of expression maybe they are unblocking their throat chakra I feel like they definitely don't um, struggle with communication maybe they didn't have a voice as a child or they weren't encouraged to speak up or express themselves maybe this is someone very quiet but i feel divine timing divine timing divine order and i feel they also feel you're slipping away which is why they may also get a sense of urgency to reach out because maybe you are becoming even more distant or maybe they see you coming into your power even more we got dmx slipping Yeah, so let's tap in. So we got the um, King of Cups on the bottom of the deck that I'll be using. So we saw the Queen of Cups, now we see the King of Cups. So you could be dealing with a water sign. You could be dealing with any sign. I don't even want to say that. Yeah, this King of Cups see you, sees you as a star. You're the one that got away. Your wish fulfillment. They definitely are looking at you as someone, um, you know, very radiant, very royal, very regal. We got the seventh, uh, the the star card again, seventeen, and we got the king of cups on the split. So this is someone very devoted, 
very committed and they feel you slipping away because you are in your power you know you're fearless and there goes the world card so there's absolutely a uh, distance between you and this person as i said they're feeling the distance this could also be um you know indicating that there could be a difference of ethnicity you know maybe this the person is of a different culture different country maybe they're across waters see this the empress they see you as their goddess their divine feminine they see you as very maternal very domestic very beautiful very powerful and very attractive they're very strongly attracted to you they see you as very powerful manifesting everything you desire see this and they feel you slipping away because you have absolutely been working on yourself if you look they're up in their head ruminating pining this is overthinking analyzing maybe they feel they're definitely um you know they could be a little intimidated by you as i was saying earlier just intimidated or just a little fearful of as to how to come in i see this person as being in two minds you know wanting to speak but not saying what they want to say and there goes the magician yeah so they're trying to figure out how to manifest you back into their life how to manifest you into their world because they feel you they may feel you're slipping away as i said we got dmx slipping playing right now you've been growing you know you've been through enormous change and I feel that's another reason why they feel you slipping because you've been transforming. You've been going through a lot of startling metamorphosis. And the Seven of Swords is this person is really like, you know, kind of like deceiving themselves. They, 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 the games they're playing, they're deceiving themselves. There's a lot of passion and a lot of, you know, I feel this person is definitely like, um, they could be a little obsessive. Maybe they obsessively watch you. They see you as the Nine of Pentacles. As I said, there goes the Nine of Pentacles. See, they, 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 when you are this foreign, ladies, you know what I'm talking about? There, there, there's a fear. There's fears associated here with this divine masculine. Because now they're like, yo, you're slipping away from them. You know? You now know your own worth and value. You know, you don't need anybody to validate you. You're doing well on your own. And so they're afraid somebody else could pull up or snatch you up and leave them out in the cold, similar to what they may have done for you or done to you. So that's why that contract card, because they have to make a decision to, you know, end that contract that they could currently be in. That's another reason why this environment card, because I feel like there's some sort of domestic partnership that this person could be entangled in and they're trying to figure out how to get out of it so we have on the bottom of the deck we got the nine of wands so you are very guarded you're coming off very guarded this is protect you you know i feel like this helps you to protect your peace i feel this person is going to come in and offer you know this this opportunity or extend this opportunity but you're you're very guarded and i feel your angel archangel Mikael, is here to protect this union as well we got the chariot here on the bottom of the deck. So this chariot is absolutely showing me that this is someone who's ready and prepared to rush in. This is someone who's definitely, you know, feeling very assertive, very confident. This is someone that wants that victory. They want to have a victory with you they want to build with you this nucleus i feel this person has said some things they re they regret in the past being very pompous but i also get a sense of like this person not really um saying what they truly felt you know kind of that's why i saw that seven of swords i feel they struggle more than anything with their ability to emote with their ability to express their feelings I feel like they have difficulty saying how they truly feel 
And I feel this is because they may not have um, ever had the opportunity to really, you know, share their feelings. I feel they can also see like marriage in their future with you. I feel there's also um, just a lot of reflecting, analyzing, and there's deep regrets, deep remorse uh, for their behavior, even for letting you slip away, for letting you move on. You you kind of moved on and, and got into an energy of just like creating or rebuilding. Because I, I saw like, you know, the energy of like you having to rebuild after something was destroyed. Maybe this is their energy having to rebuild. Maybe that is very indicative of rebuilding a connection with you after, you know, destroying the trust. And we have Casa overall. Was she happy? So this person realizes, you know, that there was a lack of happiness, perhaps. There was a lack of happiness in their connection, in their karmic relationship. Maybe this is the happiness that they felt with you. Um, it was just this epiphany, a grand epiphany, that they had happiness with you. And they didn't necessarily have it with anyone else. Which is why they really want to rush in. But you are coming off very guarded as normal. I mean, that's a normal uh, reaction when you felt taken for granted or you know, unappreciated. So let's see. Why is number two and the number 11 here and Wheel of Fortune for this person, my Divine Feminines? So we have two cards. See that? A five of Pentacles. And then, oh wow, all of the cards just flew out that are going to clarify. So what flew out was the number five of Pentacles when I was asking how this person feels. Remember, this is clarifying the number two patients the 11 carnucopia and the wheel of fortune so they feel left out in the cold even though they may be financially set things may be you know like really um really doing great financially or in their careers but they still feel left out in the cold they feel abandoned you know this is unhappy this is dissatisfaction and i feel like you know there's an opportunity to come out of that energy with this King of Wands, I feel like their own doing, maybe their wandering eye or their passion, their lust has led to them um, making decisions which may have made you feel, you know, left out in the cold and abandoned. But I do feel like there's some sort of epiphany or realization that they may have abandoned you because maybe whatever relationship or karmic connection they was in, they could have been abandoned as well. And so we have Michael Jackson, Heaven Can Wait. So what we have here for what flew out for how they feel about you is we have the Ace of Cups. Can't make this up. This is what they feel. They want to offer you love. They want a new beginning. They know you're guarded. You're coming off guarded from two different decks. Remember that came out. Uh, this one came out to clarify the overall energy. And this one just came out for your energy. So they're also feeling, you know, you're very guarded, you know very guarded and rightfully so however this is what they feel they love you and this is what's clarifying the spiritual partnership along with the man holding a, a heart so they've been holding on to this connection even though there hasn't been any communication even though there hasn't been any you know any um dialogue between you and this person for quite some time i do get a strong sense that this person is feeling you know deep deep emotions so they don't want to leave their you, leave you alone they don't they don't want to be alone they don't want to be without you we got the 6 of wands this is clarifying the um 7 7 spirituality so they do want a victory this is going to end Victoriously, I feel like there's a wish fulfillment because the star is also here. Caring Connections is also here. That number 38, uh, Archangel Raphael is here. So he could also be conspiring along with Archangel Mikael. Remember, you had the community card, which is about support. 
This is about your angels and guides supporting you through this process. I feel like this is preordained, destined, because the destiny card came out. This person has had some sort of realization. But with heaven, can wait by Michael Jackson. I definitely feel like you may have some angels and ancestors. This is going to end in some sort of victory, a major breakthrough. With this uh, seven of wands, I am feeling a sense of resistance here on your part. But spirit is, I'm hearing immediately, it's saying to uh, be receptive, to be open. Because with the seven of wands, it's saying that you're very guarded. You're very um, blocked. And it's because you felt you put energy and effort into it. But I do feel like you will be receptive. That's also why that nine compassion showed up. Because it's not about having any judgments on anyone. Let me get one more card. Why is 44 environment, 36, um, second chakra, the three, blossoming abundance, the seven, community, and the seven of pentacles here, and the seven of wands. Okay, I got two cards. So there will be a decision. Someone's trusting their heart, the te uh, two of swords. This is someone making a conscious decision. Maybe that's why, because you, you don't want to be someone's second option. So we have the queen of swords here. So you will give this person. So you went from being blocked to thinking about it. See, see, this is the energy that just flew out to clarify. Because I, I didn't like just the seven of wands. Because that's still like, you know, uncertainty. So you do go into, you know, kind of like the space where you're assessing. And you're using logic. And then now you could see here with the queen of swords. You have your sword up, which means you're prepared to communicate. You're prepared to open up and express how you feel you're giving someone an opportunity to express how they feel so I feel like there's clarity that could result from this conversation um, but you will not take too kindly to anyone trying to insult your intelligence so I do feel like this four of swords is showing someone's in recovery you know recovery recuperating rejuvenating the spirit their soul and they will come in because now they've taken onus and accountability um, and this will only, you know, result in them being able to um, start expressing themselves and saying whatever it is that they desire to say, whatever it is they feel uh, compelled to say to you. So let's get uh, some more clarifiers from the Kipper, and then I may pull some um, cards with some letters and numbers and archangels, uh, and then we're going to wrap it up divine feminine so let's see what we got on the bottom of the kipper deck we have five mature male so you definitely have a masculine who's been maturing ladies as i said growing evolving they could have been sitting at the feet of their elders i definitely feel like them being um fugazi deceptive dishonest speaking with a forked tongue maybe have some third parties around i feel like this led to some sort of ending a painful one at that uh you didn't feel like they was being honest because i have the false person here number eight you know so they could have been wearing a mask or they could have been dealing with a feminine who was wearing a mask maybe someone was lying about a child or lying about being pregnant or maybe someone was just being childish and we have tony 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 just me and you so this person definitely thinks about you and them and a connection and just being with you solely just being in your um good graces you know just being in a relationship a partnership with you so divine spirit of love and light let me get a message they definitely see you as that empress um they see you as someone very maternal very beautiful very attractive you know someone who is like a goddess so divine spirit of love and light. Let me get a message of love and life for my divine feminine nines. And then we're going to wrap it up. And cut the deck. So just me and you. This person just definitely um, just wants to be with you exclusively. And we have on the bottom of the deck we have Oh wow, concerned. So yeah, they're concerned by all your guardedness, you know, because you're not you're not making it very easy. And I feel like it's rightfully so because you've given so many chances, so many opportunities, and you felt like they were, you know, they they blew it. So this person is concerned, but I feel like the angel, Archangel Mikael is here. 
you know. Um, so with this 33, this person from the past is really just really concerned with how to perhaps emote or express uh, that they desire to be with just you, that they, they, des they desire. And we have expectation here, 28, and we're about to clarify it their energy so they know you're expecting them. <laughs> they know that because they're intuitive just like you remember we had 77 spirituality so that just tells me both of you are highly intuitive very you have high energy psychically and so this could be someone also very in tune very tapped in you know to their Christ consciousness to God frequency um, to their intuition and so they have this expectation they know that you have this expectation excuse me that you're expecting them. And so we have poverty. So that's that's the situation. You know, they feel left out of the cold. You know, they have a lack mindset as well, lack mentality. This is why we saw a lot of anxiety and a lot of energy, um, just regret and, and, and stress, ruminating, pining. They have a lack mentality, but I do feel like they're getting out of that. Whatever stagnancy they was in, because this is the number 37, which is 10. It's like they're at the, the at the end of that cycle. And I feel like there's blessings. There's a harvest here waiting for them. And we have message of concern here. So they're fearing your response, like I said, because we have 14 message of concern, 5. So they, they, they feel you're going to be combative. They're not sure if you're going to be receptive to them. That's the fears. That's the anxiety. They have a very lack mentality. They want this new beginning. They want this fresh start. But they're afraid. There's a lot of confusion with this person. Uncertainty. And even a lack of confidence. So what the, the 20 flew out for house. So they feel you, you know, I'm hearing love is a house. So love is, is with you. They feel you're the home, the hearth, the foundation. Love is a house. And there's 20, number two. They're choosing you. They're making a conscious decision, effort to come towards you. They also feel you're very psychic. Remember that two deals with the uh, high priestess. So they know you're very in tune. And we have unexpected income here on the bottom of the deck. So there's definitely some sort of fortune, fame, new beginnings, expansion, success here, opulence, growth. And we have 21 family room. And that's the 21. That 21 is associated with the world card. So like I said, this person is potentially wrapping up a cycle, completing a cycle. There's definite distance, but they are coming towards you with the Six of Wands for a victory, for a major breakthrough. And they're making this decision because they feel you're the wish fulfillment. They're just up in their head with how to do this, with the strategy of it all. The, 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 you know, All they think about is just you and them. We got Tony, Tony, Tony. You could be dealing with someone named Tony, first, middle, or last. This is someone that definitely just thinks of you they just think of they saying just me and you they can envision themselves residing with you we got great fortune on the bottom um that also flew out so this card this is again like destiny this is also like listens wish fulfillment opportunities this is opulence remember you had uh, blossoming abundance so I do feel like there's um, some sort of wish for them, some sort of blessing. I feel there's success also, expansion, growth, financial blessings, because you also have this 20. So you got 26 great fortune that flew out, and then you have 27 unexpected income. So some of you all have some sort of amazing opportunities, and I see mature woman here. So you all have received, you, you young um, ladies, you feminines, are receiving some some sort of financial blessing here you're receiving some sort of financial blessing because you've matured this is about maturation growth expand you know like elevating ascending to your higher self and because of that you're receiving some sort of reward some sort of recognition from spirit from the divine and this is a wish fulfillment as well with this great fortune I feel like your prayers are being answered I feel like this is about fame. This is recognition. You could be in the spotlight. You may have had some sort of job offer, promotion, pay increase, bonus. And we have Xavier Omar. And this is Blind Man. 
So I feel like whoever this is, this person realizes they were blind. They didn't see you for who you were. They didn't see you initially. They didn't put in the effort. They didn't appreciate you. But now they could see you. And what he says is, you're so beautiful, girl. A blind man can um, will can love you, you know. And so let's see what we have on the bottom of the deck that I created. Um, it's just, like I said, it just has letters and numbers and then the archangels. And on the bottom of the deck, look what's here. <laughs> it says number five. And what have I been saying all throughout this reading? Expect what? Communication. Someone is going to express themselves and communicate how they feel. And we have the number I, um, the letter I. So this letter I is saying that someone will be reaching out to you. The letter I, you could be dealing with someone whose first, middle, or last name is I. But I is also dealing with the self. So divine spirit, I'm just shuffling up these cards. My son actually made this deck for me. All right, so let's see what we got coming in. And we're just going to pull a couple of these just to see. So this is very interesting. Look at the first one. So a clump of cards just flew out. And look who it is. Archangel Mikael. And that's what flew out already. So Archangel Mikael is absolutely your Babas. Some of you all that could be your spiritual fathers. He's definitely very present here, protecting, you know, conspiring behind the scenes. We have the number four. So that's definitely an un another number that I was uh, mentioning that's associated with the heart chakra. So this is speaking to love. This is a situation concerning love. But that's also speaking to the Divine Masculine, that is the Emperor in traditional Tarot. So this is the Divine Masculine you're dealing with. With this 10 also flew out. Maybe some of you all were born on the 10th um, of the month or on the 10th month. On the 4th day, maybe the person you're dealing with was born on the 4th day. Maybe this is someone who has a life path number of number 4. But 10, we have the number 10. So 10 is about powerful endings but it's also every ending denotes a new beginning 10 represents completions of cycles something coming full circle it's also associated with the uh, judgment card not the judgment card the wheel of fortune and so the wheel of fortune is about you know things finally moving in your favor whatever was stagnant whatever was delayed stuck stagnant it now can move so something's propelling forward. But I feel this 10 is really speaking to uh, completions, wrapping up cycles, completions of cycles. We have the number three. So this number three is associated with the Empress. So that three is also associated with the solar plexus. Healing, healing from past pains, wounds, trauma. But also this is the Empress, the Divine Feminine. Someone very domestic, very nurturing, very loving, very devoted, very powerful, knows her worth, her value, very attractive. She attracts what she desires to her. She's a master manifester. And then we have the letter D, destined. I just heard the word destined. Some of you all could be dealing with someone who has the letter D in their name, first, middle, or last. I hear destined, I heard the word devoted, I heard dream, and we have Nas uh, rhyming ghetto prisoners. So maybe if someone was, like I said, stuck and stagnant in a situation, feeling imprisoned mentally or emotionally, maybe they will be, you know, kind of they're freeing themselves, they're cutting themselves free, or there's a sense of clarity. I'm hearing free dome. And we have the number two on the bottom of the deck. So there's decisions, choices, 
Twos are about duality. I'm getting the Two of Cups. So maybe this is someone that will give to you equally. But I do feel a strong sense of someone making a decision. D. Decision. They're making a decision to come toward you to express something. And I feel like you will make a decision about whomever this is. But this is your reading, Beautiful Divine Feminine. I hope the message has resonated for you. Uh, if you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, hit the like, hit the look at look at like button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new here, I hope the message has resonated for you. I hope my energy resonated for you. Um, and you stay a while. For all of you who are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Let's get this video into the algorithm so it can help others um, discover the reading. If it has been helpful for you, perhaps it will be helpful for others. So definitely hit that like, like, like button. And until next time, I send a big old fat ashe, ashe, ashe. Peace, love, and light. Enjoy your Sunday.